welcome to maths is easy hello friends as there is always a need of help in calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels i am here for the same today in this video i am going to solve chapter direct and inverse variation of class 8 publication of goel brothers prakashan exercise 11.3 so if you guys want to see the solution of earlier chapter of class 8 the chapter's name are rational numbers square and square roots cube and cube roots exponents playing with numbers algebraic expressions factorization of al algebraic expressions percentage and its application surface area and volume probability and so on you can go by the playlist where all the solution links are available of the each of the chapter of each of the exercise of each of the questions Moreover, I have solved many chapters of class 7 of same publication house. The chapters name are integers, fractions, decimals, rational numbers, linear equations, uh, triangle and its properties, lines and angle. So uh, for, uh, for it too, you can go by the playlist where all the solution videos are available. So let's not to waste further time. Check it out how to solve question number. 13 of exercise 11.3. So question number 13 says, what? A cistern has two inlet taps A and B, which can fill the cistern in two hours and three hours respectively. An outlet C, outlet C can empty the cistern in six hours. If all three taps are opened in the empty cisterns, how much time will they take to fill the tank completely? So how to start it? So first of all, we will write time taken by two inlet pipes, inlet taps, A and B. How much time? Two hours and three hours. So, work done by two inlet pipes in one hour. How much? One by two plus one by three. means 5 by 6. Clear? In next page, we will write time taken by outlet pipe C to empty the tank. How much? Six hours. Now work done by outlet pipe C in one hour, one by six. Next page, we will write work done by all three pipes equal to 5 by 6 minus 1 by 6.
So time taken. by pipes to fill the tank completely. How much it will be? 3 by 2. So our answer would be one whole number 1 by 2 hours. Hope all the question is clear. If any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask your doubts by commenting it in the comment box. Let's move further. So question number 14 says, A, B and C can do a piece of work in 6, 8 and 12 hours respectively. They started the work together and after one hour, B left the work. In how much time will the remaining work be completed by A and C? So, question, uh, given question is A, B and C, one work can 6, 8 and 12 hours. They have worked with one one hour and after one hour, B has left work. So, how much time will A and C do the remaining work in the remaining work? बचे हुए काम को करेंगे। तो so, देखते हैं कैसे करते हैं इसको। So question number fourteen. So we will start start with time taken by by A to do a piece of work how much? 6 hours next work done by A in 1 hour it now one by six. Next line with time taken by B to do a piece of work. Eight hours. Next step. Work done by B in one hour. One by eight. Now time taken by C to do a piece of work. It now jaga 12 hours. So work done by C in one hour. One by twelve. So from next page we will write total work done. by A, B, and C together. 1 by 6 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 12. LCM 24. 4 plus 3 plus 2. 
9 by 24. Now, remaining work to be done by A and C. 1 minus 9 by 24. Fifteen by twenty four. Isko cancel kiya. Five by eight. So we will write time taken by A and C to complete. the remaining work. So, it would be like 5 by 8 ko kisi divide karenge 1 by 4 se. 1 by 4 kaha se aya? A and C ke jo timings hain work ke unko add kar denge. LCM year 12, 2 plus 3 2 plus 1. This is 1. So it is like 3 by 12. So 1 by 4. So 1 by 4. A or C ka total time of work. Hai. Time, time, kar, kitna time lenge total A and C. Wo hai. Usse divide karenge 5 by 8. Ko. So 5 by 8 is called reciprocal kar diya. So 5 by 2. Isko mixed numeral mein 2 whole number 1 by 2 hours. Hope the question is clear. Any type of doubt is there. So feel free to ask your doubts by commenting into the comment box. Let's move further. Question number 15. So question number 15 says what? A pipe can fill a tank in four hours due to a tiny hole in the tank. The water flows out and so it takes six hours to fill the tank. If the tank is filled, in how much time will the tank get emptied because of the hole? Now, question kya hai? Pahle samaj lete hai. Question hai ki agar ek pipe ek tank ko four hours mein, char ghinte mein fill kar raha hai. Aur एक टाइनी होल है उस टैंक में जिसकी वजह से पानी बाहर आ रहा है सो so, उस होल की वजह से वो जो टैंक है वो 6 आवर्स में फिल हो रहा है जो 4 आवर्स में होता था वो 6 आवर्स में फिल हो रहा है तो तब भी अगर टैंक फिल हुआ तो टैंक अगर फिल हो गया तो कितने टाइम में जो टैंक है वो एम्प्टी हो जाएगा खाली हो जाएगा उस होल की वजह से so, इसको कैसे अटेम्प्ट करेंगे देखेंगे टाइम टेकन बाय पाइप टू फिल द टैंक कितना 4 आवर्स सो वर्क डन By pipe in one hour. One by four only. Now, time taken with leakage. Put 
उस होल की लीकेज की वजह से पाइप फिल होने में अब कितना टाइम लग रहा है पहले वो फोर आवर्स लगते थे अब सिक्स आवर्स लग रहे हैं सो वर्क डन कितना हो जाएगा वन आवर में अगर सिक्स सिक्स आवर्स लग रहे हैं तो वर्क डन हो जाएगा वन आवर में कितना वन बाय सिक्स रेट ऑफ लीकेज निकाल लेंगे कि लीकेज हो कैसे कितने रेट पे रही है उस होल की वजह से वन बाय फोर में जो पहले टाइम लगता था अब माइनस कर देंगे वन बाय सिक्स एलसीएम लिया ट्वेल्व आया थ्री माइनस टू सो वन बाय ट्वेल्व सो वॉट वुड बी द आंसर हैंस इट विल टेक ट्वेल्व आवर्स टू एम टी द टैंक to empty the tank if the tank is filled so it was all about today's video have a full glance once again and if any type of doubt is there feel free to ask your doubts by commenting into the comment box in my next videos i'll be taking more of the questions of same publication house same book so if you guys like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible thank you so much